doing is from review day one. Number four, we are going over if you had trouble with transformation tables. If you had trouble with transformation tables, we're going over number one. Um, number seven and eight from review day one, I'm actually going to show you first, even though it's not in the same order that I wrote up here. I'm going to show you that first because that's for everyone. Okay. But review day one, number four is for anybody that is missing those transformation tables. Okay. Just seven and eight from review day one. Um, it It's fixed, I believe, but I just wanted to yeah, like get your attention to um, number seven and eight. Um, I use some software and apparently their code of how they make these answers was wrong. So number seven and eight, both of them, none of the ABCD work. So if you sit there and you try to figure it out and figure it out and figure it out, it's not going to work because none of those are the right answer. So seven and eight, you're just going to have to figure out on your own and then check with my answer key. So that's just seven and eight. I don't know what happened. The, the computer software was like messed up. So seven and eight, not multiple choice for you. That's all. So now if you need help with a transformation table, I'm going to do that. If you don't, you're working at your own pace until I'm ready to go on to the next thing. All right. So I'm talking to everybody, even though not everybody has to be following along. So I'm going to do number four with you. Going back to transformations, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write out what those transformations are. I always go left to right, and I'm going to start with the negative sign first. So back in chapter one, if you had trouble with transformations, I'm going over them again. So transformations, I start with a negative sign. That is some sort of reflection. So I write reflect in the. Now I'm underlining reflect because that would be like a box that you would type in on Canvas. And then you would also type in what goes there, which is one of either x-axis or y-axis. Those are the only options for reflect. Now, this is located, this negative sign is located on the outside of the squared. The negative sign is not being squared. So if it's on the outside, what do we know about it? Does anybody know? Oh, maybe not the people that are paying attention. So if it's on the outside, it's vertical. And vertical goes on the outside, right? So if we're doing a vertical reflection, pull out your x-axis, which is my arm, and we take something, which is my hand, and then we reflect it vertically, okay? To reflect it up and down, that's the x-axis that we're reflecting in. The second thing we come to is a four. That four is being multiplied. So if it's being multiplied, you're going to have blank, blank by a factor of blank. If it's being multiplied, you're going to have those words by a factor of, because that means multiply. Blank, blank. Um, is that on the inside or the outside? I did not hear answers. Inside or outside? Inside, yeah, inside. So if it's inside, we know it's horizontal. I meant to write that in pink. And it's either going to be a stretch or a shrink by a factor of. Now, if it's horizontal, though, remember inside is like not common sense. So I see a four here. I'm not going to multiply by four. What do I multiply by? Anybody? One fourth. We, what we multiply by is the reciprocal. One fourth. So if I multiply anything by one fourth, it gets smaller. This is a shrink. And then we come to our plus two. The squared 
is not a transformation. The squared tells us this is quadratic. That's telling us our parent function is x squared. That's what squared tells us. Okay, so we come to the plus two. Most of you are really good at these. Um, it's gonna be blank, blank, blank units. The special word is translate. The direction is up for two units. Because we're going up, this is vertical. Because it's outside, it's vertical. And it's common sense. Now we're going to fill out a transformation table with that information. So the words that I wrote get applied to the table. I was fairly disappointed by how many people on that quiz did not know what to put in the X and Y column because I have not done different numbers. It's been the same numbers every single time. So. The X's go in numerical order, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three. Every single time, that's what the X's are doing. The Y's, if you happen to forget, you look at the parent function, which is the same in this entire chapter, always X squared. So if I happen to forget the Y values, all I have to do is take my x's and square them. So I do negative three times negative three, which is nine. Negative two times negative two is four. Negative one times negative one is one. Zero times zero is zero. One times one is one. Two times two is four. Three times three is nine. They are all positive. That's why the graph goes down and comes right back up. It doesn't go down, down, down forever. They're all positive. Now, in our transformation words above, if it is horizontal, it goes on the X side. If it is vertical, it affects the Y's. So that's why I was writing like vertical or horizontal as I was going through that, because that tells me what side of the table to put it on. So my first Y value is negative. Reflect in the X axis. That is not just a negative. Some people just typed in a negative. This right here is a number. What number is that? Does anybody know? That's a negative one. But what operation is happening with the negative one and that parenthesis? So multiply by negative one. So that's what you type into the top of your transformation table on the Y side times negative one. So you don't just put a negative sign there. You don't put times negative. You put times negative one. And then we also had a vertical of add two, up two, so I put plus two. The horizontal was by a factor of one fourth. That means times by one fourth. So my words and my table match. My words on the very top of my table match. The equation has a four, but the words and the table have the one fourth. And now it's arithmetic. So I'm going to quickly multiply all of my x's by one fourth. So I get negative three fourths. I get negative two fourths, but that reduces to negative a half. I get negative one fourth. I get zero, one fourth, one half, and three fourths. Arithmetic. Then I multiply my y values by negative 1. So I get negative 9, negative 4, negative 1, 0, negative 1, negative 4, negative 9. And then I add 2. So negative 7, negative 2, 1, 2, 1, 
negative 2, negative 7. I go to graph these. I do not use anything on the inside. I only use my very outside X's and my very outside Y's. Those become ordered pairs. And I'm not going to list all of those because I should not have to. I'm not going to list all of them. But looking across like 0, 2, that's the middle one. That's our vertex. The first, very first ordered pair is negative 3 fourths, negative 7. I cannot have my graph and my table open in the same window because you guys, I have to zoom in to graph it. So this table, I kind of know. I'm going to go off of memory here. Zero, two is my vertex. Um, negative three-fourths is part of a block. And then negative seven. Negative a half, I think, is negative two. Interruption at this time, we are asking for the boys and girls varsity cross country team to be dismissed from class so they can go to their match. Again, the varsity girls and boys cross country team. Okay, as long as you have your table correct, I really shouldn't have to go over graphing the points, especially this one's yucky, <laughs> it's so skinny. Uh, the domain, oh my gosh, I had. Maybe two people get the domain wrong. Tells me you have not been doing any of your work. You got to start doing your work. I had, I think there was at least one person that was the only thing they got right. The domain. Domain is all real numbers. The range comes from, the range comes from the K value which is in your vertex HK. So my K value in my vertex is two. Um, it's also in the equation, that plus two, that's my K value. It's always Y and it has a two and we just have to decide, is it above it or below it? I look at my graph, it's down. So this is negative or um, less than equal to for my range. So there are three more questions where you are required to do a transformation table to practice it. We're gonna keep doing transformation tables the rest of the year just with different equations. So it should be easy points for you. Once you got it down, it should be easy points. Okay? Um, so that's all for review day one. I'm gonna stop my video and make a new one for review day two.